Good morning, everybody. We were discussing with the physical features of India, and in physical features of India, we had studied about the six division. In that, in those six divisions, we read about the Himalayan mountains, the northern plains, the Great Indian Desert, and the Peninsula Flat. these are the three for four of them we read we are still remaining with the coastal areas and the island groups so before we move towards the coastal areas and the island groups let's see some differences between northern the great himalayas and the peninsula plateau what differences do you see when you analyze you read this about this and you have read about this so you must be having some of the ideas in your mind so let's let's physical features of india so very first we are going to look at differences about the relief of himalaya region so what things what we know about the himalayan region is himalayas are young fold and loftiest mountains of the world come prizing of several parallel para lal ranges so we have done uh, read about the three ranges the greater himalayas himadri the lesser himalayas and the shivalik range they are formed due to folding of sediment tree rocks strata in the the bed of the tethys sea so it is said there was a sea between two land the angara land and the gondwana land as these angara and gondwana land land came close to each other the bed of the tethys sea start did to rise up and became the himalayas this region 
consist of the highest peak of the world that is mount everest many of these peaks are about 6000 meters and are covered with ya yeah, or and snow covered throughout the year this ice is always present on that for example we have mount everest mount k2 it is in korakoram range kanchanchunga nanda devi etc etc the himalayas represent a youth full topography with high peaks gorges deep valleys and waterfalls because here we have snow and snow keeps on melting and due to the melting of snow we have water flowing down streams which causes all these things means gorges valleys canyons waterfalls relief of peninsula peninsular plateau it is a high table land made up of old crystalline igneous and metamorphic rocks so first is young peninsula is old himalayas are made up of sedimentary rocks but peninsula plateau is made up of igneous and metamorphic rocks the peninsular plateau was born by by breaking up of gondwana land
the hills of the peninsular plateau are round are rounded due to large scale erosion over a long period of time so it is always said old there is a formation there is always weathering erosion due to heat temperature rainfall wind which continuously act on the earth and starts changing their shape it is a very slow process but we said uh, peninsular plateau are old and they have been formed very long back for that we have an example it says aravalli range aravalli range is a form of old fold mountains which the height is low but they are very old and the nilgiris etc so these are the two examples of old fold mountains so we have already studied about the doda beta anai mundi that is been present in nilgiri hills the penin solar plateau represents a relief of rounded hills broad and shallow valleys other than this we can say that the rivers that are flowing in the himalayan region are perennial they are long they keep on flowing throughout the year we have learnt about the indus we know about our river ganga very pious sacred river of india and brahmaputra they originate in himalayas and they flow towards south direction first they flow towards like when you talk about brahmaputra it uh, starts with near lake mansarovar with the name tibbat with the name sangpo it moves from west to east to arunachal pradesh and then turns south and, and then towards west and again south and enters bay of bengal but when you talk about peninsular rivers they are seasonal they flow when there is a heavy rainfall but as time passes as the rainfall season passes by after few months these rivers 
they become dry they are not fit for navigation these rivers flow towards west to east when you talk about godavari krishna kaveri mahanadi they flow from west towards east and we have two rivers that flow from central of india east direction to west that is narmada and tapi they fall in arabian sea near gujarat rest other rivers they fall in bay of bengal the rivers that fall in bay of bengal make delta but those rivers which fall in arabian sea make estuaries 